111. 111? Okay, here we go. Okay, new, new question. Oh, boy. Because <laughs> you, you set me up for this one, I'm sure. Uh, are you willing to change your appearance to make yourself more attractive to your partner? Or do you feel your partner should love you the way you are? Uh, for example, how much are you willing to modify your hairstyle or change the way you dress for a partner? Let's go with Summer. Okay. Did you change the way you look today just for because of a guy? Because you thought a guy would like this? No, definitely not. I feel like if a guy really likes me for me, then they have to accept all of me. If my future husband's already seeing this podcast, then fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, you have to At accept. Least you have yeah, you have to accept, like, my whole past. You'll be 30, hit 35. Yeah. Like, oh, you're so crazy. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Like, hello, I'm young and hot now. I have to get it in while I can, and then I can settle down and have kids. And hopefully, if they really love me for me, they'll understand, you know, I was just having fun, living my life, you know. I don't feel like I should ever have to change myself for a person. Otherwise, then maybe... I am not the girl for them. Maybe they need to go find the next woman, you know? But I, what my partner thinks about me obviously does matter, but I'm not going to live my life for somebody else because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. this is my life. So I'm going to do whatever I want to do, and you're going to have to accept that so or you can move on. So your future on. husband says, you know what? I'm not really in a blonde. I think you can like make it brunette. Definitely not, because I feel like I'm at my hottest in my blonde. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, maybe we can find an extra girlfriend for that, but definitely not. This blonde is... Make them buy you a wig. My she whole brings home a brunette. Just, you know, that's exactly. what solves the problem. Test okay. delegated. Exactly. There you go. There you go. <laughs> There's Love your that. brunette, daddy. Love it. Yeah, right here. Right, right here. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'll let her Barbie since you uh, brought this up. I mean, Go I'm going to I'm going to do whatever I want to do for my body. Mm -hmm. So, I believe that I always want to look good naked. So, my entire lifelong goal until I'm just old and decrepit is to always try to better myself, better mm -hmm. my body mm -hmm. so I can always look mm -hmm. good. Now, if I'm with a guy and he's like, "Oh, well, I wish you had bigger tits." I'm like, well, I don't mind the thought of that. Okay, you pay for them. <laughs> right. Pay for them, and I'll go get bigger tits. You mm -hmm. know, like that—that that I could do. Much you know, you it's a good idea. And I want to go bigger. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, but like, that's something that's like aligned right, with aligned yourself. With what right, I yeah. want. Mm -hmm. So if there's yeah. something that you want me to do, that's aligned. But well, okay, pay for it. You got it. You know, so that—that's how we can help each other there. Mm -hmm. Catalina, would you change your appearance? You had to met the perfect guy, and he says, "You know what." Grow your hair out. It's so hot. My last relationship, I did that for a whole year, and he was never happy enough. So probably not. Like how so? Did he like? Was it like one thing after another? Yeah, it was always just like someone who like that wants you to change something will always want you to change another thing, and they'll never be happy with it, and they'll never make you feel good enough. Mm. So I'd rather just be me. And he knows what he's walking into. Like mm. he's coming in to date me. So why doesn't he accept me when he's there? He's got to change me the whole relationship. Will he ever be happy? No. Mm -hmm. And I'm not willing to dye my hair and ruin all my features for somebody that's at the end never going to appreciate me. Mm -hmm. So no, the answer is no. Evelyn. No, I wouldn't change my appearance because um, I, I just do it the way that I get ready. It's I do it for me and myself, but not really for anybody else. Like I just, I want to look good, but not necessarily like if he's asking me to change something about myself, I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. Just, and just cosmetically like, though like you know what i don't like that color lipstick can you do black instead i'm in the goth girl no i honestly i would probably not we want to do it with that have guy a anymore <laughs> maybe, if that's, maybe if that's what you want let's have a whole night out we're gonna go to the events or concert show whatever i will dress up for you like no, role play is okay what, what if we so have that's so i was gonna say if that's a feature of our relationship i go you know what tonight Let's do the electric. Thing. Let's fucking okay. do it. Right. Let's just, go. Just what it. color All you right. want my hair tonight? I'll be I'll mm. be a uh, Carmen next. So we just keep going. <laughs> okay. yes. Wait. So what if we flip that question though? So what if he liked you for the way you were originally, but then you changed? Is it fair for him to ask for you to go back to who you were? No, because you're clearly growing yourself. So if that's what you're choosing as your own level of growth and it somehow coincides with what, what you if, want. What if, what if the, the growth is like... I feel like this is a question about putting on a weight. 
that thought I'm going. I'm just going there next. Yes, yes. These are build up questions. See, I was my head went to like, oh, you started getting filler, you started getting Botox, you started doing the hair extensions. Now you're learning how we do the show now. Like it's a few jabs and then that's how it works. Well, if it's consensual, I mean, both parties are agreeing to it, then I think it's fine. Oh, yeah. Dress but up one is definitely consensual. Uh -huh. <laughs> but if one person doesn't want it, like, say, the girl doesn't want to get a boob job because long term she knows that'll affect her body, mm -hmm. then I'd say, no, the guy shouldn't push that on a woman. Mm -hmm. exactly. It should all be consensual and a tag team together because that's your partner. Mm -hmm. Sarah, have you ever <laughs> changed anything about yourself at your husband's behest? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. I knew it. But I have, he married me and he knew like I was always, you know, I, I always want to look good for him. I, even mm -hmm. if I was pregnant, if I was a hundred pounds more after having a kid, losing that weight, like it was always something that I desired because I want, I want to be the apple of his eye. So it, it, he never asked me. He just knew, it, he just knew how I was. So even like now I'm like, oh, I'm going to go get a BBL. And he's like, oh my God, okay, whatever. Do whatever you need to make yourself happy, but he's never been like, yes, get this, or yes, get your boobs redone, or do this, or do that, because I'm always just doing whatever the fuck I want to do, and he's just like, well, okay, she dyed her hair blonde today, you know? Mm -hmm. It's always something new and exciting for him, so I think that's what he likes, mm -hmm. versus, like, it's never been a conversation, like, you know, you don't give a fuck. Is that what he likes? What? <laughs> <laughs> he likes what, I don't even know. He likes the, you know, excitement. Like oh, keep it the interesting. change. Yes. Yeah, Who am I changing. sleeping with tonight? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Who do I got? Is she drinking tequila or vodka? Like, who is it going to be today? So. These All are right. great questions. Shall I love I, this book. I know. Is right? it great? It's so fun. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I've been wanting to do this on that. We should have done this. Like, oh, we Mike, done this I got it. I'm doing it. Oh, um, we also need to take a group picture before oh, of course. we all leave. Yes, we do. We got to piss so. some people off because I can't take a picture without somebody thinking it's a flex. So I'm leaning into it. Everything I do is a flex from here on out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, we're all try hard. And also, so we just popped the cherry for this place. That so is true. We yeah, we'll, we'll definitely do a group shot with for, the for this one. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I've been getting into it with some people on, on Twitter recently. It's just basically there. Like, oh, any, any time I post a picture with like anyone, particularly from this show, for babes in Toyland, everybody goes, Oh, he just hangs out with these whores and these poor stars. And I can't believe it. Like, dude, sounds amazing. Like, settle down. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a perfect life. Relax, Francis. It sounds like yeah. they need their dicks off. Yeah. Settle down, Francis. It's, it's, it's not as serious. Your life is not as serious as you'd like to make it out. Really? Now, okay, so here's the, here's the follow up, which of course is the obvious one is if you put on some weight and your husband, boyfriend, whatever, hell, even your, you know, somebody that you know that you're intimate with, um, asked you to lose some weight, what would your response be? Wait, ask them to lose weight? Or no, ask, ask you, you to you. lose I would weight. never get fat, but if they got fat, there. I'd tell them to lose weight. So you would take it upon yourself never to, like, get fat? I will not get fat, no. Okay. I mean, I'll eat once a day. I was going to say, I mean, it, it looks like you eat very sparsely. I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a, not not, that's not a flat, not flat. No, I, that's I actually a compliment, myself. especially these days. That's very much a compliment. Thank you. I don't serve myself. I just, yes. I just don't eat a lot because my stomach doesn't allow me to eat a lot. But if it was a guy, I won't be with a guy that won't go to a gym. If he won't go to a gym and commit to that, then he, it's just not my type of guy. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Yeah. I want a guy that takes care of himself. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll opine later on Evelyn. If you put on a few extra pounds, the guy says, yeah, here's a Peloton. Would you have, I'm going to buy you a Peloton for Christmas. Are you going to use it? <laughs> no, um, I'm in the trainer instead. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I would. Like, so wait, what was the question? The original question? Well, if you put on, if you put on weight, mm -hmm. you even even acknowledge it. And your boyfriend, husband, whoever says, here's a gym membership. <laughs> here's a Peloton. Here's yeah. Honestly, I would Pilates. take it because like, he's just... Being, Pickleball. He's being truthful <laughs> and he's like, you need to like get fit and like I'm all about getting fit, so let's get fit. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's how I feel. About I think that. a lot of people don't re like, especially it's kind of like an unfair question for a lot of the girls that are on our show as it is anyways, because I mean, this is Vegas and, and women in Vegas tend to be way more physique conscious than than the average middle American. Mm -hmm. You know, the if you the cross section of America that you'd see in a, the average metropolitan airport, okay. 75% of the population is overweight. So it's a, it's yeah, a pertinent crazy. question, but it's like like putting yourself into that situation. Are the guys in Vegas fit too? 
Vegas? Or is that just women? Yeah, uh, well, maybe I'm yes. jaded, but I, at Powerhouse, they seem like they're pretty good Vegas. shape. It's crazy. Yeah. Shout out to Fit Club Las Vegas. Powerhouse, Powerhouse Gym. If it does, if it has fitness in the name, it's not a gym. Uh, <laughs> As fitness in the name, you are on steroids. Has your, has your husband ever, Sarah, has your husband ever asked you to lose weight? No, not no. once, not ever. But this man he also seemed like knows, the perfect man. I'm just hearing this conversation. Uh, he's great, yeah. But <sighs> he also knows that I'm not, like, I'm conscious of that. And I think so many women lose touch with reality. Like, mm -hmm. what is the attraction when you, you get with somebody? It's, it's just, like, that's just genetics. That's natural. That's the animal instinct. So if you lose that, then of course you know what i mean like why don't you want to maintain yourself for your spouse mm -hmm. your spouse should never get to the point where they're like hey you know it's time to get in the gym the conversation shouldn't happen that should never happen because you're still constantly dating the person you're with like mm -hmm. you should always strive to have the same desires and desire one another and if you're not and your man's like hey man you need to lose weight then you need to see who he's fucking on only fans with mm -hmm. and then get <laughs> your shit together you know because you get married. You don't just lose yourself. Why would you lose yourself? Mm -hmm. I hate I, I hate society as that mm. is. I think with Vegas, though, like when you're in Vegas, there's like a culture here of going to the gym. There's a yes. culture yeah, here sure. yeah. of being in yes. in other cities, yes. even like like L.A. It is not like that at all. But if you do change no, L.A., it's not like that at all. <laughs> I was it's not. Oh, well, it's not because, uh, again, I always tell people to do this experiment, right? If you go from TSA to your gate at, at well, I mean, Las Vegas airport's a huge airport, right? If you just put, put away your phone and just people watch from the walk from TSA to your gate, that's the average American. Because this is a tourist. Uh, people come here from all, of, all yeah. over the world, really, but yeah. all, certainly all over the United States. That's the average man, the average woman. And I will tell you right now, if I saw like any of the girls at this table walking through the airport at Las Vegas, it would be like watching a wild animal walking through <laughs> your suburban neighborhood, like a yes. tiger. Walk. Holy shit, there's a tiger. That, that, <laughs> because I, and, and yeah. you got to understand, like for me to see, I mean, because I, I do with you guys all the time, right? But for uh, the average guy, when he sees someone like, like yourself walking from TSA to, the, to your gate, they're like, God damn. If you uh, and by the way, ladies, if you if you want to, I'm not saying you should, but if you want to, you can monetize this, like Corey Yee. You know Corey Yee? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Corey, she's doing this. Corey Yee. Corey Yee will do this. I mean, she's just, I mean, just a hammer. I mean, she, her body is like absolutely perfect, and she'll dress up in like like really kind of tight fitting outfits, and she'll walk through Costco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. like like yeah. 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 she has a guy with it. So camera. she can see like, it's it's almost like you know they have those uh, those videos of like girls who go into the gym, oh, set yeah. up, they'll set up a camera, right? And they're like they, they start doing squats and they're not doing squats, they just they have the camera on to see how many guys are staring at their ass, which is yeah. every guy there. Okay, yeah. like that's not or shocking. Almost or every jeans. woman. You have my ass you put your phone on with the camera on in your back pocket. As so you, you can see squat and then just, and you just videotape everyone <laughs> yeah, behind you. I've done that man. before. Do that. I saw someone doing it on TikTok and they were posting yeah. it. Yeah. That would be a flex. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> oh, I will say, I people watch the 7 Eleven. Mm -hmm. Fattest people I've ever seen coming in and out. Oh in your do I have to bring? Do I have to bring up the guy who actually ejaculated on some lady's life? Oh, I did saw you see that. that. You guys oh, oh my god! Oh, I'm it pretty at, sure he's oh. in jail now. No, it wasn't at a 7 Eleven. It was at what was it? At? Like it was dollar Tree. No, it, it was a Dollar, dollar Tree. Dollar, 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 yeah, dollar. You know that what actually almost happened to me in SF? I was traumatized. I I was down in SF around Folsom Street when the fair was going on. And they always have naked people out. Uh -huh. And an old guy almost said that to me. I didn't even notice my friend told me. I was like, okay, we got to go to the car now. I got to get out of SF. <laughs> these guys like, these guys are like, people don't know that we have like, some of the guys here in the, in, the, in the home audience right now. And you were saying like, you, you would have to like, really like work one up real quick to like know that you're going to do it and then, and then run. Yeah, that takes some <laughs> that, that takes planning. planning. That takes Man, planning, That bro. takes planning. Like, I couldn't scary. believe I, I, it's ejaculating a vacuate. There you go. Literal <laughs> prison. Really prison. Yes. I don't want to be near that. Okay, Summer, 